Hello and welcome to Business Reporter's Digital Economy Campaign. I'm Alastair Greener. People in a range of everyday scenarios, whether it be booking a holiday or finding a parking space, want to experience ease, efficiency and accuracy when making decisions. But at present, they must do much of that work themselves. It is they who need to go through the rigmarole of a hotel aggregator booking system, or who need to locate an empty parking space and pay for them at a kiosk. But is there a need to simplify these processes? And if there is, how exactly can it be done? What technology might remove the decision-making burden from humans? Well, that's what we're here to discuss today with Hermione Sheikh, CEO and founder of Fetch.ai. Good morning. Good morning, Alistair. AI has been around for quite some time now. It's a word and a phrase that we're familiar with. So what's changing? I agree. It's been around for quite a while and it's an overused phrase, but it is changing in many ways. One, we have a lot of data coming in. And second, which is the most important bit, is that it has been the domain of the big players. Big corporates have always used it. We, they've used it for decades now. But what is changing is that this is now starting to trickle down to all of us. Any person is now somehow interacting with machine learning and AI. And that's what is really changing the game. And the technology is available to use AI on the edges, not just in, uh, in kind of controlled, big corporate manner, but more that everybody can benefit from it. Everybody can generate new revenue models from it, and they can actually use it in their daily life. So what does this mean for all of us, on, you know, from, from the individual's perspective? What does it mean to us? What it means is that peer-to-peer -peer economy will flourish. And the peer-to-peer -peer economy becomes true peer-to-peer, -peer, with no intermediary in the middle. Currently, what you have is, although we call this gig economy the peer-to-peer -peer economy, there sits an entity in the middle which is benefiting from it. And it's not true peer-to-peer. What machine learning and AI democratization would enable you to do, and this technology would enable you to do, is to find your peers, connect with them, without the need for an intermediary in the middle. So given this peer-to-peer -peer artificial intelligence, as it were, where does Fetch.ai fit into all of this? So Fetch AI provides the tools. It also provides an app uh, for the consumer to enable automation and uh, search and discovery of these service providers. And it also enables the service providers to connect with these consumers with all the digitization tools that they require and the machine learning and AI that require, which is effectively hidden from them in the way that it's much more convenient to deploy. So how are you actually doing that? Because obviously you're creating a new platform, a new route for peer-to-peer. -peer. How, how does it actually work? So we, we kind of start from what people already know. So you already know how to download an app. You, as a consumer, would be able to download an app and set up your uh, connectivity task. Whatever you require, you can search for that. Um, but, but in a true peer-to-peer -peer fashion. So the connectivity is peer-to-peer. -peer. The app enables the machine learning and AI solution so that you can do an efficient and effective search. And once you've connected to the supplier, you can actually do a dynamic action, which is you can book straight away with the peer that you've just connected. On the service provider side, we provide them uh, not just an app, but a web interface where they can deploy their business, where they can actually market or advertise their own services, and all the tools that they require for the consumer to book with them. And in, in terms of the different industries and different businesses that can use this, give us some idea of the breadth of application for it. Well, it's quite limitless, but let's let's look at the, the sectors which this could really quite quickly um, 
become very popular. So for example, you have a very disparate marketplace for service providers. At the moment, you would go onto a search engine, you will search for a service provider like a plumber or electrician, then you would uh, pick up the phone, you call them, you know, most of them won't have the time, you, you know, and how do you find that availability? These are, these are tasks which we do not need to do. And this would enable, Fetch AI's solution would enable them to very quickly cut out this, these menial tasks which we currently do and make it a lot more efficient. But what is most interesting really is that you can apply this to thousands of small businesses which I probably can't even comprehend what they would be doing. Uh, it just enables you to reach those customers which you have not been able to do till now. And you do it without the need for this centralized entity. What is it that you are doing that's so revolutionary compared to what, with what we're familiar with already? It's, it's more to do with the, how the business model is. Um, because we have seen, as you said, machine learning and AI has been around for a while, but it has been used mostly by big corporates. Uh, connectivity has been around, but the connectivity has been evolving. This is the next stage in the evolution, which is Web3, whereby you can enable a peer-to-peer -peer connection, which enables new business models between the peers. And how will this benefit the consumer, the individuals like us? How will we benefit from it? The consumers are a supplier and a consumer. Most people have the same. So, you know, I might be needing a plumber, but I could also be providing a different service. I could be a cleaner, right? So it's a two-way street. So once you enable this peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, apart from the economic benefit, which you will see because at the moment, all these services and the way to market these services, the way to book these services, it all costs you money in the middle. So this will bring the cost perhaps down, if not cost, it, it might not bring the cost down, but the benefit, the economic benefit goes to the consumer and the supplier, uh, not to somebody sitting in the middle. Um, so that's the key difference that we will see uh, with this new technology. What you're describing here certainly sounds very simple, but what's the difference between what you're proposing and me just going onto the internet and doing a search? When you do a search, you find all the results, you do the hard work. You then have to connect with the service provider. You have to find out if the service provider can provide the service that you need. And does, it, does the service provider have the time? Uh, you're doing the hard work, not the machine learning and AI. So in our case, what you would do is you would say, I need the tab fixing. You press the button and leave it to find you the most relevant solution. And if your calendar fits with the calendar of the service provider, they will connect with each other and they will book, the service will be booked for you. So it makes it a lot more active searching than uh, the passive searching where you do the hard work. The only thing is some of these intermediary platforms often also work as a way of vetting yeah. the service providers. How do you overcome that? That is really the, the point of this machine learning and AI inclusion. How do these um, middle uh, companies provide that trust is by using machine learning and AI. And what we're doing is that we are including that in our peer-to-peer -peer search mechanism. So you would still be able to see the trust ratings on the service provider and the, and the consumer. And you would also be able to have some escrow service where the funds are held in escrow, whereby till the service is delivered, the funds don't exchange. It all sounds great, but people are thinking, well, hang on a second, who's paying for all of this? You know, where does Fetch.ai get its income from? That's a great question. So Fetch would only charge you a hosting fee, not a commission. What that means uh, in economic terms is you're paying less than a percent of the commission that you pay to any of these aggregators. So it, it reduces the cost and improves the service. The one question I would like to ask is that for many people looking at this, it needs adopters because until you've got people adopting and taking on this technology and using it, 
it, it doesn't become then widespread enough for it sure. to make it viable. What are you doing to make this become the go-to way of getting business in the future and the way the go-to way of getting your plumber, your electrician in the future? Any new business model takes uh, time and we are looking to launch it in different sectors in a very contained manner so that we can get people used to what we do, we get people used to this new way of doing business. Uh, of course it takes time and we have to be focused on certain ver verticals and service vertical is where we think we're going to be narrowly focused to deliver this service. And where do you see this new technology going? You're talking about Web3, so maybe looking at Web4 or 5. Where do you think it's going to go over, say, the next 10 years or so? Over the next 5 to 10 years, we will see machine learning and AI penetrating the markets uh, on the edges, which means that it will not have to sit in this big centralized entity. It will be trickling down to the normal common people, I mean the usual uh, people who want to use this technology. But it needs to be in a way that people can actually not only just use it, but also monetize it. And that's the main path we will see over the next five to 10 years. For anybody watching this particular interview, what would you like people to remember from our conversation? The key point I would like to bring out is one, don't be afraid of machine learning and AI. Second, let's try and use these solutions to enable and help these new business models. Well, you've given us a fascinating glimpse into the future, but in fact, what's here today already. It's been great to find out more. Hermione Sheikh from Fetch.ai, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Alistair.